So the first race is a governor's race. It's, if you guys look at the total, um, Bill Haslam has 38,000. Can you guys see that? Uh, yeah, can you I'll blow it up? In. I'll zoom in. Um, he has 38,212 votes. And this is the representation of the real totals. This is actually what actually happened in Shelby County. Well, what, what was reported in Shelby County. Um, so, so do a screenshot so we can compare. Yeah, I'll do a screenshot of it. Uh, you can basically change the entire roster if you want, right? Ben? Yeah, I can change every, everywhere where there's more than one candidate, for sure. So should we pick our person now? Is yeah, it time? We pick our person. Okay, uh, so, so we need a volunteer from the audience who would like to be the person, person. Um, who gets to pick who's going to be governor. Does so anybody want to be dirty? I see somebody back okay. there. Raise your hand. You we have a up? criminal in the midst. Okay, come on up. <laughs> we're kindred spirits today. Someone's got to make a sacrifice. Yeah, we're all dirty. All right. So do I come over okay. to you? Um, just take a look at well, the screen. Just take a look. And you um, can uh, use my mic here. So these are these are the totals. This is basically what people in Shelby County see and anybody across that universe. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna work for the governor's race. Um, who would you like the winner to be? Well, I really think the name Basil is interesting, so we're gonna go with Basil. Oh, he's got, he's only got 219 votes. You think we can pull that off? <laughs> Basil is like a seasoning or something. Like we will season his votes to make him the winner. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna open Fraction Magic. Um, it is largely unnoticeable. It is running. Um, it's in the top right corner, and you can't see it. I mean, you can try to see if you see it. So the way I designed the program is to kind of hide in plain sight. So just watch my cursor, though. If you follow my cursor, you see it change. Can you see it went from a from a? Can you, you see it went from a, a, a? All right, so I'm gonna type this uh, uh, code in that brings up now everything you're gonna see. They're gonna be in black boxes. I did this in collaboration with BlackBoxVoting.org, so I made everything in black boxes so you know what is not in the application and what is the application that I designed. So. I'll open it up, and it's basically reading the voting database to tell me um, everybody's running. So these are these are the options. Um, again, this is what uh, uh, Appel was 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 explaining that once a person get in, they can just just hijack the system and take over. So I think you said Basil. Okay, so let's take um, we'll make Joe Kirkpatrick come in second place, and you said Basil is going to be the winner. Uh, so Joe Kirkpatrick is, oh, he's got a low vote total too, so he's going he's gonna to have, have a good night too. So basically these are the allocation rules that I, I preloaded these allocation rules. So each precinct, each polling location, he is going to win 37% of the total. It's like 20 candidates in the race, so that's enough to, 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 declare, to declare him the winner. And Joe Kirkpatrick is going to get 46% of everything that remains. And this one has some complexity in it where you can see it, um, where I'm, I'm changing the allocation rules. Because this is, it's got to mimic realistic results, right? And it's, it's, it's pretty realistic. So we're going to come out of this. And I'll open the program again because now I'm going to run it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inject those allocation rules into 80,000 votes? 77,000 votes. All right. So I'll run it again. This time I'm going to type a different code. And if you guys want to look at this thumb drive, it's going to hum. I always use the thumb drive uh, because everybody says, well, it's a thumb drive. We checked it. Uh, no, <laughs> that sound good, but everybody's got to use some type of media to do something. So this thing is going to hum for about maybe 10 seconds, but it's going to go through, it's going to go through the whole thing like a peanut butter sandwich. So I'm going to, I'm going to type the code in. Um, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8. So eight seconds didn't make me look bad, and uh, this is an ethical swap, so I know y'all, I'm, I'm not a thief. I'm, I'm representing one, but I'm not a thief. All right, so everything is still, still up. So now we got to see what the new totals are, right? So let's close this report, but not close the application. So let's just preview the next batch of results. 
All right, so we now have a new winner. And our winner is going to be Basil. <laughs> <laughs>